Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can introduce Sigma rules to our current Wazoo rule detection stack. And we're going to do so with a tool called Chainsaw. So you first may be asking, you know, why are we having to introduce a new tool onto our endpoints? And I do want to specify that this is going to be deployed on your Windows endpoints, your Linux endpoints, your Mac endpoints. Uh, whatever endpoints you've currently deployed your Wazoo agent onto, Chainsaw will also need to be deployed onto that. And, and the reason being is that it's very difficult to convert Sigma rules into Wazoo rules. And really, Wazoo is less expressive in their logics that you can implement when creating Wazoo rules. And Sigma has a much more expressive rule logic. And for example, Wazoo only supports or conditions within a single field statement and not between them. And I go into a few more details uh, within the blog post as to the current challenges that we are currently facing. There are a few repos out there that attempt with Python to convert Sigma rules into Wazoo rules, but there it really only gets about 70% there and it's very clunky. There's a lot of room for error. Uh, and so I want to introduce a to you guys a good way to actually incorporate Sigma detection into your current Wazoo stack. And that's with a tool called Chainsaw. So Chainsaw was developed by WinSecure Labs. And they do have a Git repo where they go into more details as to exactly uh, what Chainsaw is and why they've provided it. But you see, it gives us the ability to actively hunt for Sigma rules uh, using Chainsaw. And in my, my experience, it has been very fast uh, since it is written in Rust. The output format uh, plays okay with us. We have to do some formatting of the actual JSON output to actually be able to have the Wazoo manager read it and, and interpret it. Uh, but I will get into more details about that here within the PowerShell script here in a sec. And of course, it can be run on a slew of operating systems. Uh, which is great. And so in this post, we're going to focus on how we can actually integrate Chainsaw with our endpoints and then configure Wazoo to actually collect these detections. So what we first need to do is actually grab the Chainsaw executable. So uh, I will just go to their repo where we can grab the latest release, which I think is this 2.5. Yeah. So uh, since I am deploying this on a Windows box, I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows uh, zip file here. And I'm going to go ahead and export that to my SOC Fortress directory, which I actually keep uh, within program files. So once I have that extracted, I will jump into my SOC Fortress directory. And here we have our chainsaw folder and we have our chainsaw executable here. So uh, it's as easy as that to extract it. You don't need to actually install everything. We're just going to call the executable every time we do our chainsaw assessment. You can extract the chainsaw folder into any folder you'd like in particular, uh, but I just throw it under Sock Fortress for this demo. So I'll go ahead and go into chainsaw. And now we actually need to grab our Sigma rules because chainsaw does not come with the Sigma rules baked in the latest updates to the Sigma repository. So now I can always keep my Sigma rules up to date. And I like to use Git to do that. So in the actual PowerShell script, we're actually going to invoke Chainsaw to run at whatever set interval we want. Before we actually run Chainsaw, we're going to grab the latest, any any of the latest changes to the Sigma HQ repositories. This is a popular repository that contains a bunch of Sigma rules. You're going to instruct Chainsaw to use when it's doing its detection. So I have written a PowerShell script that will go ahead and download Git and the Sigma repository for you. Um, if you'd like to use it, you certainly don't have to. But uh, if you do use it, make sure you do change your destination folder to uh, one that actually reflects your current instance. And we will now grab our Sigma rules. So now that that's run, if I pop into Sigma, uh, you see we should have our rules repository and we also have our windows and then we have all of our Sigma rules here. So all these are the same Sigma rules that you'll see within the Sigma HQ repository as well. So let's go ahead and actually test Chainsaw real quick. And I'm actually going to download this uh, EVTX attack samples directory. So it's essentially just like these fake Windows event logs that we're going to tell Chainsaw to run against just to make sure that it's running. So to actually download the repository, you can go ahead and run uh, this command here. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy my Chainsaw exe. We're invoking the Chainsaw executable. We're telling it to hunt against these Windows event logs. We're telling it to 
use the sigma directory because that's where all of our sigma rules are stored. And then we're also going to use this sigma event logs uh, mapping. So I'll go ahead and hit, hit enter. We see chainsaw is being invoked and it is now running our hunt. So I don't care about these results. We know that Chainsaw is running, it's able to load its Sigma rules and it's able to do its analysis. So that's looking good. So now we actually need to get these detections into our Wazoo Manager. By default, it just prints out to our command prompt here. Of course, Wazoo is not gonna be able to read from that. So since I have a Wazoo agent running on this endpoint, we're actually going to output JSON results to the active response.log file. So this is a file that your Wazoo agent is always going to be monitoring and sending to the Wazoo manager by default. So any entries that we append to this log file are going to be sent up to the Wazoo manager to be evaluated. So what we're going to do is convert this into a JSON format and output that to our active response.log file to get them up to our manager. And Chainsaw is also able to run against your default Windows events, so your application, security, all those type of events, uh, Sysmon, and also PowerShell logs. So it's really able to evaluate against all telemetry happening on our endpoint. So here uh, we've provided a PowerShell script for you guys to go ahead and use. I'm just calling it chainsaw.ps1, but you can, of course, can, uh, call it whatever you'd like. And what this script is first going to do, so we're first going to clone and pull the Sigma repo if there's any rules that have been uploaded to the Sigma repository that have not been already downloaded onto our endpoint already. We are then going to set our start date. So another powerful thing about Chainsaw is that we can tell it to only evaluate logs between this specific time range. So what I'm going to do is by default, I'm just going to get the current time and I'm going to subtract five minutes from it. And that's going to be the time range that I want Chainsaw to evaluate against so that we're not evaluating against logs that we've already evaluated against. We then specify the path to our Sigma rules. And here you'll notice I go a little further into it. Directly call out just the Windows folder because I don't need Chainsaw to load like Linux rules or Sericata rules or Zeek rules because I know this is running on my Windows endpoint. So I don't need to waste processing time on the endpoint loading more rules that aren't going to match anyway. So uh, that's why I have that specified there. And then here is where we're actually going to run and invoke the Chainsaw EXE. So we're then going to similarly to what we just ran against the sample logs, but we're now pointing to where our event logs are actually stored. We're specifying our mapping. We're specifying our time range, which we calculate in the in the steps above. We are going to output it to a temporary results.json file. And we're now specifying the level of Sigma rules that we want it to load in. So I don't necessarily care about low or medium Sigma detections. I really only care about high and criticals. So that's what I have set here. You can, of course, change that if you'd like to include any Sigma detection rules to be sent to your Wazoo manager. But in this case, I'm just scanning against high and critical. We then have a function here that's going to convert our output into JSON, and then we're going to output it to our active response dot log and then we're just going to do some cleanup activities and then if there's any errors we'll output them uh here and on my windows endpoint i'm going to go into the osec directory active response dot bin and i'm actually going to deploy my chainsaw powershell script within uh, the bin directory of the active response and keep it there uh you could of course put this wherever you'd like uh, but i like to just put it here for any the automation that I have the Wazoo Manager triggering all my endpoints, I like to keep it common and just keep it within this uh, folder here. So, so let's now go ahead and incorporate detection rules on our Wazoo Manager. You can go ahead and feel free to add these onto your uh, Wazoo Manager as well. And this is going to detect our high severity alerts and then also any critical severity alerts as well. So you'll need to go ahead and apply these to your Wazoo manager. Go ahead and actually automate this process because we don't want to have to jump on to the Windows endpoint and manually run this Chainsaw PowerShell script. We want Wazoo to run this script for us at whatever set interval we'd like. Uh, and that's exactly what this Woodle command is doing here. So here you can see we're using PowerShell to go ahead and call our chainsaw.ps1 script. Setting this to run at an interval of five minutes, you can of course tweak this 
as often as you'd like. Do note, if you do tweak this here, you'll also need to edit the PowerShell script uh, to set on the whatever time range to run again. So make sure you also make that change there. Uh, but for this demo, I'm just going to keep it at five minutes. You know, do note that it is technically not real time. We're getting as close to real time as possible. Like if you want to set this to a minute interval, you certainly can. I'm just going to leave it to five minutes uh, for this particular demo. And this Woodle block is going to be applied to your Wazoo agent group configuration that your endpoints are assigned to. And so that this Woodle command will need to be applied there. And again, this is going to invoke this script to be run at every five minutes or whatever interval you actually want, want it to trigger at. And you can go ahead and test yourself by uh, running this command, which simulates attempting to grab a uh, Mimikatz PowerShell script and actually uh, run it within memory. Uh, this is just a dummy test. You could, of course, like this is just a private IP address that nothing is listening on. But for your own safety, you could like x.x.x dot x dot x this out. Uh, it just essentially all we want to do is trigger Sigma rule detection on the invoke Mimikatz keywords. And when the Wazoo, when Wazoo now runs our Chainsaw Woodle, we will get the alerts that we see here accordingly. And so now we're able to integrate Sigma rule detection with Wazoo, uh, and it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to convert the Sigma rules to Wazoo rules. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one.